What's going on, everybody? It's Alice Thorndagger Films. I'm an actor, writer, director, editor, and every dang gone thing, y'all. But y'all, if y'all to the film and entertainment space like I am, maybe an actor, YouTuber, musician, whatever it is, guys, this is the channel for you. So, might go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, bell notification, so you don't be missing a single thing when I be doing on this channel. With that said, guys, let's go to the video. So, I got a good one for y'all today. Basically, guys, I want to talk about why do I think, me personally, that Jurassic World Dominion will easily surpass uh, Spider Man No Way Home. The reason why I say this is just because when you look at the Spider-Man movies, only two of them, Spider-Man No Way Home and Spider-Man Far From Home, the only two Spider-Man movies that has ever surpassed the one billion, yet yeah, yeah, easily surpassed the one billion dollar threshold. Uh, I will leave the link in the description to the website, to the box office so you guys can check it yourself. That way y'all know I'm not capping with y'all, this is all facts. But yeah guys, so only two Spider-Man movies ever surpassed the one billion dollar threshold. Spider-Man No Way Home almost hit the two billion dollar threshold. But, the reason why I think the Jurassic World franchise will easily surpass um, Spider-Man No Way Home is just because, guys, like three out of five Jurassic franchise movies has surpassed the one billion dollar threshold now it's technically six but we don't have the numbers for dominion yet so i'm not going to count that but three out of five guys that surpass the one billion dollar threshold so jurassic franchise has less movies but they do tend but three out of them yeah three out of five rank higher than most spider-man movies in fact guys the first jurassic park um movie is ranked 31 and it surpassed the one billion dollar threshold not by much you know but it's like right there and but when you go beneath that i don't even see the first spider-man movie until like on uh, 60 yeah 66 and then um yeah the, and, and that was spider-man 3 and then let me see what else 69 with spider-man homecoming so guys a lot of spider-man movies um yeah they're they're not even close to a lot of the um jurassic franchise you know three out of five jurassic franchise three of those movies are doing better than most spider-man movies only two jurassic franchise movies which was the the lost world and jurassic part three were the only ones that really didn't do that great in the box office i did in eh, you know for the time it was decent but in eh, you know in, in today's standards and eh, uh but Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, like Jurassic World in general, like if we were to just separate Jurassic Park movies and Jurassic World movies, when we look at it like that, our new Jurassic World movies, these these always hit the one billion dollar threshold. The first um, from our new Spider-Man trilogy uh, with Tom Holland, the first Spider-Man uh, Homecoming, that movie did not surpass uh, the one billion dollar threshold. In fact, uh, where is it at? It's ranked number 69, 880 uh, million right here. So don't get me wrong, still good. It almost hit that one billion dollar threshold. But guys, you know, like guys, like literally Ice Age 3, Dawn of Dinosaurs did better than Spider-Man Homecoming. And that's ranked at number 67, Ice Age 3. So yeah, eh. Yeah, I mean it's a. I mean don't get me wrong, it's decent numbers, but by today's standard, oh boy, guys, when we look at Jurassic World, Jurassic World alone always hit the one billion dollar threshold. So what's that telling me is a lot more people are willing to go out and see dinosaurs over Spider-Man. Now don't get me wrong, I love Spider-Man. Spider-Man is an awesome character. I'll go see any movie any time of the day, but when you're talking about dinosaurs. And on top of that, with everything Jurassic World Dominion has lined up, like they're literally gonna pull a freaking Spider-Man No Way Home. <laughs> like literally guys, they're bringing back all the OGs, just like Spider-Man No Way Home, and spoiler alert, sorry guys. <laughs> but yeah, so in Spider-Man No Way Home, um, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, they both came back, um, you know, to reprise their roles for the film. And Jurassic World Dominion is literally gonna do the same thing. You got Alan Grant coming back, you got Ian Malcolm, like you got the whole trio that is all coming back, and who knows whoever else is coming, you know, for this franchise, and um, to make this pretty much gonna conclude everything. So this movie is definitely gonna do very, very well, 
as we see guys the numbers here jurassic world franchise easily hit the one billion dollar threshold and then plus guys another thing we gotta look at is everything going on in terms of life and everything things are starting to get back to normal in a way um so you know like i like life is literally becoming like just becoming normal again so with that said guys there is no excuses why we shouldn't see a very high box office out of jurassic world dominion and in my opinion it's easily gonna pass um spider-man no way home and the reason why spider-man no way home ranked so high just because of all the potential leaks that got out and we heard hey this guy's coming that guy coming like everybody's gonna reunite when a big reunitement happened of course it's gonna do well and people love spider-man and then you got the involvements of the mcu and you got potential big leaks like freaking toby mcguire andrew garfield already knew that movie is going to kill in the box office when you look at jurassic world franchise right here which all which automatically hits the billions <laughs> easily every movie even if it's not the greatest like on jurassic world fallen kingdom even if it's not the greatest like that still surpasses the billion but you're finna reunite with all the old like all the og cast members like guys this is gonna be really outstanding of a film and i can easily see it surpassing spider-man no way home even potentially taking out um avengers infinity war potentially you know because guys you gotta remember the first jurassic world movie um it it truly wasn't that far off from the two billion dollar mark and i i can definitely see um this new jurassic world film easily being the highest growing yeah easily the highest grossing jurassic film of all time easily with everything that's going on in that film and the story looks good like literally i can't even think of a con in this movie they're doing so much right they brought bad dinosaurs i haven't seen literally since the first one so this is going to be a very very big movie guys uh, but guys let me know what you guys think do you guys think Jurassic World Dominion will reach high numbers, higher than ever? Uh, what do you guys think, you know, in terms of the placement? Where would it, you know, where would it be placed? Will it surpass um, Spider-Man No Way Home and take the number six spot? Or will it even take the top five spot and surpass Avengers Infinity War? Or will it go higher than that, guys? Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy, Owl Storm Dagger Films. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know, guys. I'll be more than happy to do them. But your boy, Owl Storm Dagger Films, and I'll be seeing y'all next video. Y'all take it easy.